Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to day 19, and today is going to be ring dynamic. So last session was ring isometric, now it's going to be ring dynamic, okay? So we're gonna begin with a little bit of a warm up. We'll start off with our scorpions. Um, all you need today is obviously your rings and a stick of some form as well. Okay, broom handle works just as well. From here, scorpions, we're lying on our front. We reach the opposite leg over to the opposite hand, open the hip, open the shoulder, and then swap sides. Pulling the shoulder blades back as you open that shoulder. Take an exhale as you open. Okay, from there we'll go for uh, shoulder swimmers. So this position, we pull the arms back, circle around, keep the arms back as far as possible, keeping that nice um, hollow position. So join the ribcage down and the pelvis up, all the way overhead, touch the back of the shoulder, extend and circle back around. Okay. Really pulling them shoulder blades back, pulling the arms back as much as we can, and then allowing the shoulder blades to roll up overhead Elbows to the ears, touch the back of the shoulders, and back around. You get as much out of this exercise as you put in, guys. So it's really trying to get yourself to pull them arms back as close together as possible. Here, pulling the shoulder blades back, pulling the arms back. Then allowing the shoulder blades to upwardly rotate, bring the elbows back as far as possible, touching the back of the shoulders, and circling back around. Okay, finally, we'll just work into the wrists a little bit. So, just fingers back to start with, we'll go through extension, just dynamically rocking backwards and forwards. And then we'll go into flexion again. So hand comes flat to the floor, and then we just turn that bicep forwards a little bit. And then we can make a fist. Okay, and this is like your false grip position. So if you're really struggling to get in this position, guys, definitely a, a place to start working on. Okay, false grip does require a, a lot of wrist strength, but also a lot of wrist flexibility as well to be able to get the wrist in this position. So if you're struggling with this position, I would certainly suggest spending a little bit of time working to uh, developing the flexibility for it, especially the making of fist. That's you know essentially what we do when we do false grip. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to go through ring rows in false grip with a short pause at the top. Okay, I'm going to pair that with a stick mobility exercise. So um, yeah, stick. Hopefully, you've got one of them. I'll just turn the camera around. Have a little bit of an angle, a little bit. What do you reckon? How's that looking? Okay, so that might do us. Only one way to find out. So I'm just going to show you two sets here, guys. Um, of the ring rows with a false grip with a little brief pause at the top um, but I'd suggest you do about three to five sets okay we're gonna go for about eight reps here so false grip okay again the wrist resting on top of the ring so if you haven't watched yesterday's video go back and watch that one first before you do this and then you should have a bit more understanding of what that false grip is so the wrist flexed on top of the rings or pulling down from the wrist okay from here if you want to make this really difficult slide yourself right underneath the rings. So you're right underneath the attachment point. Okay, if you wanna make it easier, bring yourself up a little bit higher. I'm gonna go up a little bit higher just so you can see what the rings are doing. Okay, from here, we're in that false grip position. We pull the chest, one, two, control down. Keeping the hips up the whole time, so you've got a straight line. One, two, control down. Notice I turn the rings out at the bottom and then I turn the pinkies in at the top. OK, 
in. If it slips out, guys, just reset. Sit your bum down again, reset the false grip, and go again, okay? What you'll find as well, especially if you're low down, is as you get to the top, you can kind of re-pull back into position if it starts to slip out a little bit. Um, but in all honesty, if you've got plastic rings, it makes false grip very hard. And also, if you've got a chalk on it, it'll make it a lot easier, okay? So chalk, especially around this region here, where we actually hold the rings, where that wrist is, um, yeah, it'll certainly make it easier if you've got some, um, got some chalk. Okay, the stick exercise is going to be dislocates. So pretty straightforward. We've done these with a band. Let's go onto my knees. Okay. Sorry about the camera, guys. Um, hopefully that's okay. So from here, um, we take a full grip on the stick. Start nice and wide. Full grip on the stick. So the pinky fingers touching. Full hand grip. From there, we gaze forwards. We pass that stick through, touch the bum, and then come back round again. If it's super easy, you can go a little bit narrower, but ensure you keep that full grip. So you're really working for that external rotation at the back. What a lot of people will do is as they go overhead, they'll just kind of go onto the thumbs, try and keep that full grip, and then we really get into that external rotation. Not really a set number here, guys, just sort of as many as you feel. Might be sort of five, 10, 15 just as your active recovery really, keep them shoulders nice and mobile. Often when people are starting out on the ring, shoulder mobility is a thing that is a limiting factor. That won't be the case for all of you, but um, I'm just throwing these in the between sets so that we work on that, because as I said, often that can be the case. People are just lacking a little bit of, uh, maybe lacking a little bit of shoulder flexion or lacking some scapular coordination or lacking some, uh, lacking some um, shoulder extension, okay, so some, often I'll be giving people quite a lot of mobility homework anyway, so I thought I'd throw it in between sets. Let's show you one more on the uh, on the ring rows. So again, full script position, okay. From there, the hips are gonna go up, turn the rings out at the bottom, pull the chest, turn out, pull the chest, turn out. Notice my elbows stay nice and tight, I'm not trying to pull wide. Elbows stay close to the body. Sorry, pause, one, two. So that's our ring row, okay? Um, in a false grip with a pause at the top. Okay, obviously false grip, um, essentially if you wanna do things like strict ring muscle ups, and then that pause at the top just gets us to really hammer hone that top position. Okay. It's like an assault course and you're not backing the stick or anything. So what I'd suggest you do guys is, um, like I say, pause the video um, here and perform three to five sets of this one. So if you just perform two sets, I'd suggest pausing the video and performing three to five sets. And feel free, you know, for obviously these aren't too taxing for me, so feel free to pause the video and, and, and take longer rest periods as well, okay, if it does feel quite taxing. Next movement is going to be ring push-ups. So we'll bring the rings down a little bit lower. well okay so ring push-ups let's get them rings nice and level okay so um we went over ring support and went over the bottom of the push-up yesterday. So if you're comfortable with both in position, this exercise should be fine, okay? And um, so essentially what we're doing is we're starting that support position as we come down, elbows stay close to the body, we draw the shoulder blades down to the back pockets and then we drive back up into that top position. So hollow body, support position, control down, keep the shoulder blades down to the back pockets, drive back up, let's do eight.
Notice I turn out the top, arms come straight, remain in that hollow body position. Okay, so emphasis here guys, keeping them rings nice and close together. Okay, that's really important here. From there we'll go for stick external rotations. So, start with the stick overhead. Okay, from here, pull the shoulder blades back slightly in this position. We're gonna allow the stick to internally rotate our shoulders. Okay, but notice it does it. We're not dumping forwards, keeping them shoulders set back. Okay, so it's staying in that one shoulder, staying in a nice alignment with the scapula, nice alignment with the, with the torso, and then we rotate overhead. Elbows stay fixed in one place, so we're just rotating about the shoulder. This is called Cuban press, um, or sort of stick external rotation we could call it. So, lengthening under tension to internal rotation, then we pull into external rotation. You can add a little bit of weight here, if you wanted to, or you could put a band on the stick and attach it in front. But start with just here, looking at that coordination, keeping the shoulders set back and not allowing that dump forwards. Okay. Okay, so I don't know why I just press it over, I just like it at the end to press it over and just yeah. <laughs> back into the push-ups. Let's give you a slight different angle. Hopefully, so you can see that hollow body position a bit more. We do actually have a like a free rings guide um, with videos and stuff on. Um, well, roundabout. So I think I'll see if Jordi will uh, put that in the description, and then you can obviously follow that. It's pretty cool, I think. Um, yeah, it's a nice little guide. So in this position, nice and hollow. Start with straight arms. Twins turned out. Shoulder blades come down, in case I'm not dumping forwards, shoulder blades are down, push tall. Control the way down, drive through on the way up. Okay, that's your ring push-ups, just do the external rotations now. Again, anywhere between 5, 10, 15 for the stick mobility exercises. Okay, so now we're on to our skin the cat. Exercise number three. So these are probably the trickiest so far. Um, so I'll show you a regression or two. Now, I'd say sort of prerequisites, even to do the progression would be, you know, be comfortable doing a pull up or two. Okay, just so you sort of have a bit of control over your body weight here. You are gonna be going upside down, so yeah. Um, a pull up or two would be useful just to sort of, you know, see so you're confident in holding yourself up. Um, but we actually just do it with straight arms. Okay, and you can actually, can actually do it um, with 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 your legs as well so um, I'll show you three reps I'll do the first one um, with 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 without any assistance from the feet and the second one I'll show you with the feet okay so from here we start with straight arms we think about pulling the arms straight down okay so we're straight arms trying to pull the the hips to the rings or the, let's think the rings to the hips trying to literally pull the rings down to the hips okay so knees tuck in Pull the rings to the hips, and then we'll end up in this position here. From there, we try and circle through as low as we can, keeping the feet off the floor, and then keeping the arms straight, circling back through, controlling down to that bottom position. Okay. Now, obviously, make sure your rings are high enough so you don't whack your head on the floor. Um, just be mindful of that. <laughs> I don't think I did, but yeah, just be mindful of it. Um, from there, we can use our feet a bit. Okay, so we and we we again perform that pull with straight arms 
our cage keep us, keep us in place and then from there we can push with our feet and again as we come round we can let our feet come to the floor and again we can push or just support ourselves from our feet into that bottom position again okay I'll show you one more with no feet Ah, relax. Okay, so that's your skin the cat. Um, like I say, just you know, ensure if you're gonna give it a bash, try and be you know, try and be at the level where you can do a pull up or two. And um, if if not, just leave them out. No worries. Um, it's not gonna change your life by doing well. It's quite a bit of size, but um, by doing the rows and doing the push ups um, and and working on your pull ups, you know, and, and you know your core work, etc. Just the things that we've done through this follow along series. You'll, you'll soon be able to do them and you'll soon be able to do pull-ups as well, you know, with, with consistent practice. So, yeah, um, once you can do that, then uh, give them a bash. They are pretty fun um, and they can, you know, lead on to some real cool things as well. Okay, mobility-wise, what did we say we had? Extension lifts, yeah, makes sense. So, from here, similar to the one we did yesterday, but we'll do it dynamically. So, palms facing the bum. Okay, from there. It's not going to work, is it? Palms facing the bum. From there, we squeeze the shoulder blades back. We lift up. One, two. Control down. Okay, arms nice and straight. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. Okay, and that'll probably improve our bottom position in the gym, in the, in the skin of the cat. When we come all the way through, if we're very comfortable here, it'll allow us to be comfortable in that bottom position. Okay, again, 5, 10, 15, whatever you sort of feel like with them. One more set of skin the cats. So I'll show you from the front angle this time, I think. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, that should be fine. So once again, Hang in this bottom position, straight arms. And from there, we're gonna try and, straight arms, pull the rings down to the hips. Okay, pull the rings down to the hips, stay in that nice tight tuck position, all the way through. Roll back through. If we're using the feet, we can have that little push. Support position. And again, have that little push back off. Okay, one more, no feet. and relax okay so muscles around the shoulder muscles around the scapula um you know your rectus abdominis your hip flexors your you know your front core muscles um also really get worked hard in this one um it's a good move i think i don't think you necessarily have to do it as a progression for muscle ups but i do think it's quite a nice way of preparing your shoulders um and just you know improving that coordination a little bit as well and that sort of fearlessness you know it's quite scary at first to do them, so uh, yeah, I do think it's a nice one. Stick extension lifts. And then we've just got one more exercise. Okay, so the final exercise is gonna be a ring roll out. This is an absolute classic, I love this one. We do. So we're coming back down into the push-up position. Okay, so we'll just level them rings up. I'll move the camera down. So again, position as always is very very important here. Okay, so the position that we're gonna start in is again gonna be that support position. So just to reiterate, if you haven't watched the follow along from yesterday, the uh, the rings isom uh, isometric one, please please do that because that'll really help you understand some of these positions. Also a common theme throughout this has been hollow body work, same position guys. Anti-extension, hollow body, hollow body position, this is what we're looking for here. Okay, so from here, starting that support. Now, probably best to begin on the knees. 
Okay, from there we just let the rings roll out. The further rings roll out, the more we'll feel it through our through our rex abdominis, through our, so our front core muscles, and then we roll back in to that top position. Okay, ensuring that we keep that hollow body position, keep the hips pushed down, posterior pelvic tilt, and then pull the rings back in. Okay, if it's very easy, you can do it on straight legs. We'll just do five. Okay, so essentially, as we roll further out, we feel the abs wanting to, or feel the spine wanting to extend, but we have to use the abs to resist that urge. And in terms of shoulder motion, so this all stays completely set, shoulder's just gonna open, close. Open, close. As we close, using things like the lats and the pecs to pull them shoulders down. Okay, like a front lever or like a like an ab roll, well ab roll it's very similar to an ab roll, or like a pullover if you've done them before with a dumbbell. Um, yeah, same sort of movement of getting that shoulder down into extension, okay? I'll show you from the side. Oh, before I do, I'll show you the, the boot exercise. It was prone behind the neck press, wasn't it? Mm. That's gonna be interesting. Let's do it in here. Give it a bash anyway. So, we're lying on our, <laughs> I'm going to do this. Um, so basically, we lie on our front. Move that back a bit more. We lie on our front. I'm going to have to bend my knees so I don't touch the wall. Okay, from there, have enough space so you can sort of fully straighten the stick. Chin just off the floor. Okay, we're going to lift the stick, so keep the body nice and flat. If you can straighten your legs, I'm just bending mine so that I don't hit the wall. So from here, head about an inch or two off the floor, so just off the floor. We're going to lift, bring the stick behind the head, extend, lower. Last one. Sort of end range, shoulder flexion, uh, and scapular strength, scapular elevation, and has to be a little bit of upward rotation strength. Um, yeah, it's quite a tough one. Um, more of a, you know, loading. We're actually pulling concentrically. We're coming up into uh, into flexion. Whereas this one, the, the ring rollout, we're coming well, eccentrically. So on the negative, we're coming into flexion. Of the shoulder and on the on the concentric on the way on the contraction pulling down we're coming into extension so it's kind of opposites there where this one we're pulling up into flexion this one we're pulling down into extension okay so hopefully you can see me a bit more from the side now probably not but anyway um so again suggest definitely start this one on the knees okay nice hollow body position okay just like the hollow rocks just like your your, your ring support position we roll out, we open the shoulders, we pull down, open, pull down. Again, really keeping that shape. Okay, if it's too easy, we do it on the feet. One more. Okay, so only go as far as your shoulders will allow as well. Obviously, it's a good core size, but if your shoulders are feeling any discomfort in the top position or any sort of pain in the top position, then uh, yeah only go as far as they feel comfortable, okay, or they feel, you know, feel like they're working correctly. We don't want any pinching at the top of the shoulders when we do that. Um, yeah. But just to ensure you really keep that hollow body position. Okay, behind the neck, press again. So again, the stick's out in front, probably can't really see it. Apologies for that. <laughs> um, from here, we lift, bring it behind the neck, chill about an inch or two off the floor, lower down. Okay, so maybe go through a few of your favorite little stretches we've gone through the, the day, uh, gone through the follow-alongs, maybe once from the upper body mobility day, um, just to cool yourself down, maybe hit a child's pose from the afterwards, get yourself back into a nice relaxed state. Um, as I mentioned, I'd suggest doing three to five sets of each of these movements, okay? 
and somewhere in the region of five to 10 reps should be absolutely fine as well. Um, yeah, ensure that you go through the isometric day first, really understand the positions. If you're having a bit of trouble with it, stay on the isometric one for a few weeks at least. And then, you know, once you feel very comfortable in them positions, then progress it over to, to this dynamic one. Okay, and as I said, with the ring push-ups and the ring rows, which really are your foundation, certainly for things like muscle-ups, um, you can just change the height. So you don't have to be as low, you don't have to be directly underneath the rings. You can move yourself up, step your feet further forwards to change the intensity to make it slightly easier. And then as you get stronger, you can bring yourself down. So definitely a lot of ways to progress in this. This is something, you know, I use the rings with, with all sorts of different people um, to, to, to training, to, to build strength. I think they're a fantastic tool. Uh, it's not just, you don't have to be an Olympic gymnast to use the rings. I think they're very useful for many, many people. Um, but yeah, other than that guys, I think that's, that covers it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Again, not an easy one to do inside. If you can get yourself, you know, a park, which is a nice tree or, or a, um, or a goalpost or something where you can, some swings, something where you can hang the rings a bit higher and have a bit more space. Um, but yeah, overall guys, thanks very much for, for watching. Again, hope you enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to seeing you for, uh, for tomorrow.